Leo Joseph believes the island's transportation via SVG Air, Carriacou's only airline, and the Osprey are not enough to bring the amount of visitors to the island in peak season. Moreover, he says the limited number of trips made by Osprey, coupled with late departure from the mainland, leaves much to be desired. He said efforts have been made to convince operators of the Osprey to leave earlier, which he said would give visitors the opportunity to explore the island. I am been begging the Osprey operators, why can't you leave 6 o'clock in the morning? If you know you live in 6 o'clock, they would be there 6 o'clock. But if you tell them you live at 9 o'clock, they wouldn't come any earlier. So that is something we have to address also. The island is well known for its festivals, and of course that's when you have the major um, mass of people coming into the island. How much has that been affecting the volume of people coming in and of course getting access to leave? Yeah. He says as it stands, the island's tourism sector is severely impacted on by limited transportation. Best form of revenue is on nationals coming back from North America, particularly New York. And they dread sometimes people call from New York who don't necessarily the time that they're getting here, the Osprey would have already left Grenada for the morning. So they have to overnight on the mainland. And because there's such limited sittings on SVG here, they can't get home as they want to. So people take this kind of inconvenience into consideration and don't even want to bother to make the trip. Joseph is also calling on government to provide concessions to SVG Air, as is done with other international carriers, in order to have a 19-sitter aircraft trafficking between both islands. Tony Julian, GBN News.